Hello Centrals. I'm again in my public park. My favorite place to talk about sex. <laughs> and um, I want to share with you today a thought and a very subjective opinion on how we communicate when our partner is going through a lot of trouble and turmoil and turbulation and they're really really down with energy. They can't seem to shake it off and to recover and to get up back again and to be enthusiastic or at least to have some drive in general not just in intimacy. Now obviously in this case your intimate life goes down because their energy goes down and you don't feel like having sex with somebody who's always morose and sad and depressed and low on energy. So how do you communicate with them and what do you do when you're in that situation? Because that can come. Here's how I see it and here's what I would advise anyone who would come to me with this situation. Now number one, you need to understand whether your partner is man or woman. If they are open to you erotically and you're intimate with them, obviously they're going to be vulnerable to anything that you say to them. Anything that you think, anything that you evaluate, anything that you judge, anything that you uh, say basically can either cut them or nurture them. So in this case, I would definitely say that it's a bad choice and an uninspired choice to go on them saying well this has been going on for too long and you're down on energy and you're dragging me down with you and I can't have it anymore even if you are right and even if that is the case even if their low energy is dragging you down with them and is depleting you of energy so it's basically sucking the life and the desire and the enthusiasm and the joy in you as well Saying it in those words when somebody's so down and you know that they're down is not going to help at all. In this case, I would first try to withdraw somewhere in my own space at least for a few hours. And then once I would be okay or at least balanced somehow and detached from all that low energy that is obviously going to be transmitted to you as well. I would walk to them and tell them like this, I love you, I really do, and I really hope and wish that you are okay somehow, eventually. But right now, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. I don't think I can. I need you to know that I am here to help you as long as you want to do something about it. Now remember, the key here is how you say it. I've seen many people, even around me, who are so affectionate and so fond and so in love or so attached to their partners and yet they could not communicate this in a way that helped but instead they said things, so they phrased things in a way that seemed judgmental that put a distance between the two partners and especially when their partner was down that was the last thing that that person needed it didn't help it didn't motivate but it sort of kicked them down it put them down to the ground and that's that was obviously nobody's intention but that was the result and i think communication loving and dearing and affectionate and honest and genuine and hopeful communication is the only thing that can give you a chance because you don't know if, if things are going so bad you don't know whether this person will recover when they'll recover or how that's the kind of attitude that you want to at least encourage and inspire and if you can't do it as long as you're by their side the only other way you can do it is by walking away and taking care of yourself and making sure that they know how much it pains you, how much you love them, and how you're willing to help them as long as they're willing to give it a shot as well. 
Now until next week, I hope that everything goes smoothly and this subject is just one that makes you aware of um, things that you might go through. I'll see you next week.